this video we'll go through the options available when configuring your personal call forwarding settings. This is not the same thing as configuring the call forwarding for a phone number, but a setting that is available for every team member in your Sonatel account. Now, this can be done both in the Sonatel mobile apps and in the Sonatel web app. This demo shows you how to do it in the Sonatel web app. So to start with, sign in at app.sonatel.com and then move to the settings icon in the far left bottom corner of the screen. Here you can select my settings to reach all your personal settings. Every team member in your account has a same set of settings for themselves, personal settings for how they want the service to work for them. We can now move down to call settings, to your personal call settings, and here there are a number of sub pages uh, for call settings, but in this video we're focusing on the incoming calls and how those should be treated. So basically, if there is a call for you, someone wants to reach you, how should that call be handled? Now the first step is to have the option of connecting calls as web calls. This means that the call is connected to you via the Sonatel app, either the mobile app or the web app. Currently, it's only possible to receive calls in the web app. The mobile apps will only answer calls when they're active. The feature of waking up the apps when there is a call for you will be released shortly. This feature, Connect Calls as Web Calls, only has an impact on calls that come to you via a Sonatel phone number. So if a Sonatel phone number has been connected to you as a user and there is an incoming call to you, then this setting will define if the system should try to connect the call to you via the Sonatel app or not. We recommend that you do not connect calls across the internet when it comes to important business calls, as you may have a bad internet connection, um, which will have a bad impact on the quality of your calls. But it's really up to you if you want to use this feature or not. But do remember that currently only calls coming to the web app will make the app ring the mobile apps will not be ringing until we've released the feature that enables that. Well, that is how it works when it comes to calls that come to you via a phone number. When there is a call to you from another Sonatel user, an app-to-app -app call, they are always connected first as web calls. So the system will always try to connect the call to you as a web call to a Sonatel app if you have one active. Now, if the system isn't able to get an answer from you when calling you on the apps, then it will move on to the next step, the forward calls to, and follow the instructions you have here. The default setting is that the system will ring all phones, which initially will be the mobile phone number that you entered when signing up, and it will ring it for 20 seconds. Now, you can configure this to uh, ring for shorter or longer time, dependent on if you want it uh, to go long enough for your mobile voicemail to pick up or not. If there's no answer on your mobile phone after 20 seconds, the call will continue in accordance with the instructions down here, if no answer, and it'll go to your Sonatel voicemail, and uh, the caller will be asked to leave a message to you, which you'll be uh, receiving via email or through other means. Now, there are many different options here at your disposal for handling the incoming call differently. You can, for example, um, ring all your IP phones, which is an ad advanced feature. It's only related to uh, so-called SIP phones. Uh, this is only for advanced user. If you've registered multiple phone numbers, let's say you have different mobile numbers in different countries, you can define which specific one you would like it to ring. Uh, in other cases, if it says ring all phones and you have multiple phones registered uh, under your profile, then all those phones will ring at the same time and you can pick up with any one of those. You can also immediately forward the calls to your voicemail 
or forward calls to another user. You can forward calls to a phone number if you so wish uh, and just enter a phone number and we recommend you enter it in the international format starting with a plus. You can also forward calls to a voice app. You can create a voice app where you say, um, uh, I'm not available right now. If you'd like to leave a message, press one. If you'd like to talk to my secretary, press two, etc. Whatever you'd like to define. And then for the advanced users, you can forward the calls to a SIP address, which is basically um, an address that can be reached across the internet to some kind of third party system. So here are basically all the different options that you have at your disposal. If you making a call forwarding to another phone number, uh, you also have the option uh, to do what should be happening next. Uh, the call will ring for a specific amount of time and if there's no answer on that phone number, calls will be forwarded to your voicemail instead. But if no answer can be set to other options as well. As you see, you have the same uh, wide range of options available in case this option doesn't work. So there's a huge amount of flexibility here uh, for how you want calls coming to you to be configured. And these call forwarding settings apply regardless if that call comes from another Sonatel user in your team or another Sonatel user outside of your team or via a Sonatel uh, phone number. So basically these personal settings give you gives you a huge flexibility in terms of controlling what you would like to happen with incoming calls to you.